hey hi friend welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about code smell so the first question is what is code smell so a code smell is a surface indication that usually corresponds to a deeper problem in the program or in the system or in the app so basically code smell is not a bug like when i say that there is a code smell in the code it doesn't mean that there are some error or there is some existing issue in the code the issue might not be at this point of time but maybe at later point of time or some point of time it can lead to some sort of problem so many time we uh, as a programmer talks that uh, you know, we have to do refactoring of the code what do we mean by refactoring of the code with the refactoring we mean generally that some piece of code which are not in good shape or are not written in a good manner or very structured or the solid principle clean architecture are not followed so let's make the code in proper structured way with proper test cases when we say code refactor actually we are telling in the indirect form that our code actually contain code smell because when there is a code smell then only we will talk about code refactor and that's why if you see in the programming industry many time we will see jokes on that if something is working then please don't touch it because if the code is not written in a proper manner and if you dig into that it might lead to some other sort of issues okay now why we should write a proper structured code or why we should write a code with proper documentation or following solid principle of or following some bit of architecture like why we talk about architecture why we talk about mvvm wiper or clean architecture because once you write the code let's say that you write a function with 100 or 200 line of code and after 10 days 20 days or even after one month if you try to revisit the same function it it is very hard to understand what you have written and forget about you let's say that if someone else is seeing your code it will be even harder for other person to understand what you have written in the code but if let's say that that the code is properly written properly structured then it should be in a proper readable format okay now there are many uh, places where the code smell can occur so if you see here uh, down the line so there are many uh, place like sometimes we write duplicated code like we in the same class or let's say that if i have to write some thing on top of a string i have to convert let's say uh, a date to a string or a string to date so instead of writing a common class what we write we end up writing at multiple places and that ends up in having a duplicate code so that is a one sort of code smell then there are larger classes like we dump everything let's say that if we are using mvc we dump everything in the view controller or we dump everything in the view model we are not following the single responsibility principles perfectly okay cyclomatic complexity let's say that if you are using too many else condition so that's a reason that if you use swift lint it will have some sort of rules that if you follow then it will reduce the code smell like okay now this is one of the code that i got, got from the internet and uh, what is this this is basically showing a list of some item which is making some sort of api call now if you see here the first thing in the model so let me just show you the url what url is being called here so this is this list now let me hit it now if you see here we have id description title and all those fields and uh, if you see some fields are also null like if you see here the image image is null here that means some fields are optional and some fields are like always having the value now generally when you create a struct what do you prefer you always prefer to have make all the properties are optional by default because that will save some sort of uh, crashes happening in if in the runtime something goes wrong right so let's say that in this scenario now there are multiple thing right like say that if i am written a custom decoder here let me just increase the font now some field i have made here like it should always have the value and some are option like this id image phone string like that now there are two ways either you can make it optional okay and then you use here what 
decode if present okay so if the value is present in that case only it will try to assign the value if the value is not present then it will not assign the value okay now, okay so now what we will do i'll just remove this optional here that means that now this value is mandatory so it will give error because now we are checking for decoding if present so let me just remove this here and give it a default value okay and now the error will go away and if i run this obligation i will not have any issue because in all my response i am getting the id as proper okay there is nothing no any case that i am not getting the id so there is no error in the code everything is working fine but what if i say that at this stage there is a issue of or there is a code smell now what will happen let's say that for some reason if you don't get id from the server now what will happen as per your code if the id is not present then the zero will be assigned right now if the zero is assigned that means zero is it may happen that zero is denoting or it's representing a proper id and it might give you a bad result or bad response or bad behavior when you take this id and perform some other operations so the issue is not currently but by writing this set of code it might occur in the future when for some particular reason this id doesn't come from the server so what should be the ideal way to handle it should i make it optional so i will say that it's not necessary that you should make it optional because see when you make a api call now there will be few parameter in that uh, api call which is kind sort of mandatory like let's say that in this if i say and for example the title and uh, this uh, id this should be mandatory because without title there is no meaning of this list without id because id is something which is unique for each item so when you write a application there are always a few parameter which which you discuss with your backend that these are kind of mandatory so if the backend fails to send that then the application also should respond in that way like you should show proper error to the user in a state of just having optional or show some own uh, field okay now let's see another issues which is related with again with the code smell now here this is a formatter class and what is this doing this is doing a proper formatting for the date like you are giving some date and uh, some format and you are asking to return it in a particular format okay and uh, if you see in the logs you see this function is getting called multiple time because it will get called for each row and whenever you scroll up and down it will again call see because this time the sale will be uh, loaded so actually it is getting called for from here so if you see here we are using this formatter right now again if you see here everything looks fine because there is no problem in the code but what is actually happening here that this formatter if you see is getting injected into the view model okay so the formatter object is created at the view model level and this formatter is then getting passed to the cell here okay so we are creating the formatter at the view model but how does it not helping in exact manner that i was expecting because now in one manner it is helping because you don't need to write formatter code multiple time because formatter is a separate class so it is kind of reusable fine it is that's not an issue but when every time when this date string is getting called you are creating this date formatter object now see creating some object is a heavy operation like it takes some memory it takes some time right and here in this sort i i don't see any scenario that once my date formatter object is created it should be created again until unless this view model is, scope is there like until as this screen is there if i create a formatter once it should be like what 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 the issue i have if i just create this formatter object once so instead of writing it here let's say that if let me write it like here i created this object outside and inside the init method
I will assign this date format. Okay. And I remove this line from here. Now if you see the date format is in a slice once and then you are what you are doing you are just giving the date format. So even in the case you have multiple date format you can even change the date format in the runtime. Okay. But now the date formatter is initialized only one time and it will remain into the memory throughout the view life cycle, right? Once the view model is deallocated, this formatter class will also get deallocated. So here also you can say that there is a code smell in terms of how the memory is being allocated. So there are multiple scenarios where you can have code smelling your code. And that's the reason what I was talking in the beginning that we talk about refactoring of the code. So when you write the code, you always keep few things in mind that when you're writing a function, what is the intention of the function? Let's say that if you are writing a did select row, let's say that if I have a selection here. So this selection should just do the selection. It should not do any other operation so that if you also revisit your code after one month or two months of time, you can also understand what you have written. So so always try to follow proper solid principles in your code. If you want to follow clean architecture, follow follow clean architecture in the code. That will really help you in writing more structured code. So that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you really like this video, then please do like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.